Hey guys, Shalom. Um, so do you know why uh, we are told to pray that your flight is not in winter? No, that's because uh, that's when you're going to find that there's a lot of ice. Thank you, Lord. Um, sucks to be a thief in the night. Um, we're going to go over Revelation 6. <clears throat> I have a friend uh, who brought this up. And I spoke briefly about this this morning uh, in my other video. Um, How are you guys doing out there? Life terrible enough for you? I'd say that, uh, well, you are the bearer of your own destiny, Mr. Anderson, and I'll be happy to explain. I'm going to read something to you from Jeremiah. This is Jeremiah, and this is actually, um, I don't read this book like everybody else does because uh, enough of it that I've seen, I can see what's going on. <clears throat> and um, it's with pride that it will cause you to stumble. You'll kick the goads. Uh, the serpent will strike your heel. Screwed. Uh, Jeremiah 17, 7 to 8. Um, Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose trust is the Lord. Did you catch that? Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose trust is the Lord is the Lord. Is is what you do. Okay? He is like a tree planted by water that sends out its roots by the stream and does not fear when the heat comes, for its leaves remain green, and it is not anxious in the year of drought, for it does not cease to bear fruit. Okay. God's law, um, unstoppable. It does not, uh, it does not keep you from benefiting. There, it's written as a blessing and a curse, so it works in both directions. Uh, if you do what the law says, you'll recognize the blessing. If you do not, then you will see the curse. Okay? And <laughs> it's funny because I actually meant to go to Jeremiah 18. But just as well. All the word is good. If at any time I declare concerning a nation or a kingdom that I will pluck up and break down and destroy it, and if that nation concerning which I have spoken, turns from its evil. I will relent of the disaster that I intended to do to, do to it. I'll keep going. And if at any time I declare concerning a nation or a kingdom that I will build and plant it, and if it does evil in my sight, not listening to my voice, then I will relent of the good that I had intended to do to it. Okay? So there it is. Blessing and a curse, and based on works. Um, we believe or have been deceived that we cannot work our way into heaven. 
Um, and that's a fallacy. I hope I didn't just say penis. Uh, but that is, it's wrong. It is not, um, it's, <laughs> if you can work your way out of heaven, why would you not be able to work your way into heaven? Okay. When Jesus said to trust in him, Jesus is the word. The word is the law. And why Jesus said you must follow it. And why the wedding didn't kick off until mommy said, do everything that he tells you. Because if you do everything that he tells us to do, then you're not rebellious and then you don't fall under the promises like given here in Jeremiah. Um, but let's look at Revelation 6. Uh, this is the horses and the seven seals. Now I watched when the Lamb opened one of the seven seals, and I heard one of the four living creatures say, with a voice like thunder, Come. And I looked, and behold, a white horse, and its rider had a bow, and a crown was given to him, and he came out conquering and to conquer. This white horse can represent people. Some people say it's the Antichrist. Some people say it's Jesus. I'm going to say it's both. This uh, crown that it has is indicative of its kingship. Okay? It shows that, um, remember, God places all the kings, right? All the rulers. He's got a crown. So this is a ruler of sorts. Some people say that the bow is a bow for shooting arrows, but he doesn't have any arrows, so it's the Antichrist, so he can't do anything. Uh, okay. Um, but there's also another bow that was the covenant that God had to never destroy the earth again with water. But you have to remember, Jesus baptizes with fire. <laughs> so when he comes, probably not going to be a good thing. I hope it is. Um, ultimately, uh, God's will, not mine. Um, but, so he's on a white horse. This horse is white. It's pure. It's untainted. It's not blemished, right? So it's speaking of the purity of the person, okay? And remember, the Son of Man will come as lightning flashes from the east to the west. There are places where you read about these horses. They originate in the east, and then they're heading off into the west. The sun rises in the east. That's where life in the day starts, and then it sets in the west. Okay? Uh, so, when he opened the second seal, I heard the second living creature say, Come, and out came another horse, bright red. Its rider was permitted to take peace from the earth so that people should slay one another, and he was given a great sword, hand against hand, brother against brother. When he opened the third seal, I heard the third living creature say, Come, and I looked, and behold, a black horse, and its rider had a pair of scales in its hand. And I heard what seemed to be a voice in the midst of the four living creatures, saying, A quart of wheat for a denarius, and three quarts of barley for a denarius, and do not harm the oil and wine. That, uh, so the red horse white horse down red horse that's what we associate with satan or the devil right and the ability to take peace from the earth do you remember the kingdom for ishmael it was brother against brother hand against hand 
right hand and left hand. The right hand does good, the left hand does bad, and we are not to let the, the left hand know what the right hand is doing. So in other words, how does that happen? If the left hand represents bad, and the right hand is letting the left hand know what it is doing, that's judgment. And when you judge against what God has preordained to happen, uh, if somebody does good or evil, he will judge by whatever is sown is what will be reaped. Okay? Uh, it's So then we have a, the third seal with the black horse. Okay? The black horse is burnt out. It is now, we have the white horse. It learns about the red, and then it becomes the black. The black horse has the scales for a variety of reasons. Those scales indicate the ability to know good and evil. Okay? In other words, I know what the light is for. I know what the dark is for. Psalm 139.12 uh, read 139, it will tell you that uh, God sees light the same. There's no difference between these two different forces to him. Okay? Good and evil have always existed. They will always exist. You cannot destroy evil. You can only not do evil. Evil is not a thing that can be destroyed. It's a fruit of an action. So you just have to not do it and stop blaming it on the Christian boogeyman, <laughs> Satan. Um, I mean, not only do you make excuses for the troubles in the world, but you make, you're making excuses maybe for the troubles that people have. This spirit, Satan, uh, is a... Sorry, something flying here. <laughs> They're coming after me. Um, <clears throat> just out of my beer. This uh, spirit, okay, when you see the term hosts given in the scriptures, it's referring to what is inhabiting you, okay? Um you are a temple. What is inside you is the host of your temple. It's the image. If you are holy, then uh, then it's a host of holy, you know, uh, how do they put it? The uh, host of holy spirits? Host of heaven. And um, so it's to say, don't, you know, not, don't be afraid, right? Uh, I'm a good angel. I'm a good spirit. I come with a good message. That's what the angels are. They're messengers. Okay? But this black horse has a pair of scales because it now understands the rider on this horse. If that was you or the horse represents you, now understands what good and evil are both doing. The danger there is that uh, if that rider decides to start judging people instead of letting God do the judging, because that's what his law is, his law is not breakable. You can deny it, rebel against it, but it's full. It promises blessings and curses and everything all of them on either side of that line. There's a line right in the middle. And when it promises these blessings and curses, well, if you obey, you get the blessing. That's the truth. If you disobey or are rebellious, you'll see the curses. That's the truth. If there's beauty in the thing, uh, when it says that by his stripes we are healed, that's referring to the suffering servant. All of us are serving the law. 
there is no escape. <clears throat> it's why when you get to the part of Revelation where it says talks about the beast and says, who can stand against it? And it's like, nobody. <laughs> because it's God. Both of these forces uh, uh, belong to God and are described in our scripture. We're at each other's throats uh, thinking that we, well, we're wise in our own eyes, I guess, right? <clears throat> um, and when it says, do not harm the oil and the wine, when you press the olive trees, the two olive trees that are in front of the throne, remember the witnesses are two olive trees, oil, oil of healing, oil of gladness, oil of joy, oil for your lamp, okay? But then there's also wine. Do not harm the oil or the wine. The wine is good because the wine is part of the wedding. The wine um, is to show that God can um, take the fruit of his you know, vine, us, and squeeze it to bring good from it. Now, in the end, when the wine is old, if you're coming home during winter, it's bitter. It's vinegar. You're not going to want it. <clears throat> when he opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living creature say, Come, and I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and its rider's name was Death. <laughs> and Hades followed him. Now, this horse, it's a pale horse. So it's kind of been drained of its blood. And uh, it's got nothing left. And that is what the four horses are about. When it says Hades follows him, um, is death a bad thing? Do you fear death? If you fear death, then uh, somehow you're not believing and trusting in God and in Jesus. Um, because we're not supposed to fear death. Um, fear is a bad thing. And it's a good thing. Fear is a good thing because fear is the beginning of everything. It's the beginning of wisdom if it causes you to learn wisdom. But if for some reason you reject the wisdom, God, and that fear then becomes what? More fear. More fear. More fear. And more fear. Until what? You're saying, what I have feared has come upon me. If you feared God, then you will know God. If you didn't fear God, if you feared anything else, you have opened yourself up to legion, to be attacked and beaten, healed by his stripes that God allows to happen. The job of Hasatan, the Satan. And they were given authority over a fourth of the earth to kill with sword and with famine and with pestilence and by wild beasts of the earth. And so uh, that's a fourth of the earth. So there's Four by four. And I just lost my... Um, a fourth of the earth. It 
Somehow I remember a dappled horse. I have to go look at that. But uh, I hope that helps you to understand the, the horses. If you have any comments, if you have a piece of scripture you want to talk about, dump it in the comments. Um, uh, share my videos if you can. I would like to do this stuff live and online. I can't get a live stream until I get a thousand uh, customers. And um, yeah, I can't control that. That's up to you guys. Um, but I would love to do a live stream. And unless you want to go on Facebook, uh, I do have a Facebook uh, page. And um, at least on there, you can stream live. Sometimes you might have caught some of my videos where I actually throw them out there after the fact, uh, Pinball Preacher. But really, um, these things are not, this isn't to be taken lightly. Um, yeah, I, I, uh, I'm cursed to know what I know. I don't appreciate it. I, uh, I, I wish I could be oblivious to the idea that, um, of, you know, what we have missed and the destruction and havoc it has reaped on our world. Um, but, uh, it's God's plan, not mine. Um, but where I struggle with is I gain no comfort and, and saying, you know, oh, God's God, you know, I'm all good because you guys are suffering out there. All of you, a lot of you are suffering. And I care. I really, really care. Man, to be blessed with a heart of stone <laughs> and just not give a flying crap. But I'm sure that people like that, probably things aren't going to turn out well for them. At least that's what the word says. Um, so don't have a heart of stone. Help me out if you can. Share my videos. Get me some subscribers. Uh, we can do some live streams. We can get into this thing. And uh, at least while we have internet, uh, if they decide to start blowing stuff up, who knows how it's going to go, right? Um, but there you go. I love you guys. I love you, love you. Shalom.